Hello everyone, it is I, back once more, and I am incredibly honored and excited to announce that I have hit 20 subscribers. Woohoo. This may not seem like a lot, but it is certainly a lot to me. 20 subscribers, 20 individual people decided to take the time to click that subscribe button, which makes me unbelievable, unbelievably happy. Concerned that I don't even say to subscribe afterwards because I don't want you to subscribe to me. I want you to subscribe to the figures. These awesome figures that companies have made that for us to purchase. Tell me what you want me to do. I mean, I can do a certain review on something, I can show my collection, I, I can even do the review of the Mega Man helmet, which would, re which would require me showing my face, even if you want that. Probably find my face somewhere. Anyway, today we will be reviewing the Ultimate Armor X figure, the Arts. And you may be asking yourself, but this is super expensive, why did you buy this? I mean, it's the Ultimate Armor, I mean, I kind of splurged a little bit. So, I just thought, okay, it's it's the ultimate armor. And of course, right after I bought it, I found it for $10 less, because fantastic. Anyway, is this figure as ultimate as it seems? Well, let's get into it. So, here it is. It is certainly really cool looking, because the ultimate armor is actually my personal favorite armor. Now that's pro now you may be saying, oh, that's because it's like super overpowered. Well, yes, because it's really fun to use. It just looks cool. I mean, it has purple on it, which is my personal favorite color, and the like the translucent blue just looks so really nice and cool. And how it's like, it's like kind of like the fourth armor, I guess. It's just like really, really cool looking in my opinion. I just really like the ultimate armor. And it's one of two armor sets that they've actually made a D-Arts figure of. The other one is the first armor. Which is nice, but I don't think I am willing to spend $140 on a, um... On something that's about this big. I don't, I'm, I'm not willing to do that. But anyway, if I ever become rich, I will. But I'm obviously not of that age. But, um... Yeah, to finally get into the figure, he has the Ultimate X-Buster, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, or just the X-Buster. Has the little fins on it, to shoot, I guess, a plasma shot, which is, um, you know, to connect to enemies, kinda. Has the little jewel piece inside, and he has, um, oops, I have a problem with his, um, upper torso, it's really, really extremely loose. I even tried to pose him, and, like, it would just, like, flop over. What I actually did was, I'm not really risking to possibly break my figure by like taking this off and like putting something on to tighten it but what I actually did was I just stuck a piece of tape in there and it actually kind of tightened it up a little bit it doesn't look that bad since the little jetpack thing kind of covers it up but yeah it's kind of a problem I don't think you will exactly face that problem but I mean you never know but um he has his little um arms obviously so it has the little gauntlet things, I guess. And he does come with a second arm, of course. And he also comes with two pairs of open hands. And um, he has a little orange gem on his um, on his waist. He has a little green gem right there. And you can actually take this off right here. I'm not going to do that. It's not because like, I don't want to break everything. It's just there's really no point, I'm pretty sure. But um, he has the boots, which have... All these little propulsion things I guess in the back of it and he has this time two little gems on each foot and unlike the usual I think there's supposed to be only one on there but I'm not really sure I know Mega Man classic only has one thing on his foot but I'm not completely sure about what X has but anyway just have a little zoom in on his ultimate X buster really looks really clean and nice and you can take the little, yeah, there's like a ton of little customization stuff you can do with this figure since there's like so many options and stuff. You can take those fins off, and I'm pretty sure he does do that. I guess when he does the Nova Strike, it's kind of hard to tell only because, I mean, it's hard to tell from just a 32-bit sprite. And so I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be 32-bit in terms of X4 through 6. But this, if you, obviously, this armor 
this this um these colors are obviously supposed to be based off the X um the X4 version of this because in X5 the purple are kind of a like the regular light blue and X6 I'm not too sure of since I actually haven't played X6 I've only played X1 through 5 and um Maverick Hunter X I should really get an emulator for um I do actually have an emulator for X6 I just haven't gotten around to playing it since a lot of people say X6 is well not the best and I also need a PS2 emulator to play X7 because I hate myself and to play X8 because I heard it's actually pretty good plus vials in it hey. anyway and he has his big kind of backpack jetpack thing which is so he can do the Nova strike which is the super duper powerful uh, I guess giga attack that X can do and he has unlimited uses of it which is kind of the whole reason why the ultimate armor is kind of so popular because he has unlimited Nova strikes and you can this is how he would look when he's like executing the Nova strike but I guess when he's just like walking running and gunning what you have to do is you flip it over pop these little side things out I guess you can also take that out and you just pop that Ooh. You okay, X? Okay, that scared me actually. Let me hold him better. Let me just pop, oops, pop that on because it's really easy to just slip on and slip off. So now this is kind of less, um, I guess this is how he would look when he's just regular, like, um, running and shooting with his X Buster. I personally like it. Oh yeah, there's a little piece of tape that I put there. I personally like it a bit more like this. It's not as accurate, I guess. I just think it looks cooler. I don't like being one of those people like, oh, for the sake of game accuracy, I'm gonna sacrifice that just to have it look cooler. I don't like being one of those type of people, but I mean, it just really looks really a lot cooler with like the jetpack thing. So there that is. And he also comes with some alternate faces. He has the standard stern face and what I kind of like, at the same time I don't like, the two other faces he comes with are like this for the sake of posing him in two pieces of artwork. I guess you have an extra base, you can have him like jumping like, you know, that and like he has his um, he has his eyes like this looking back I guess at his um, uh, backpack thing. And this face is what I have him posed, whoops. This face is what I have him posed with, and I dropped it. This is the face I have him posed in. It's the pose where he's, um... Come on. It's the pose where he's, like, raising his X-Buster into the air as he is shooting his blast. I will get into that now. So, changing out the... Oops, please focus. Thank you. You just have to pop this out. Find a nice spot to grip it on. And then you get this um, alternate piece and just put that on. Get to the night right position. Take your blast effect, which is actually really nice looking. It's kind of. It looks kind of like a Christmas tree, actually. If you look at it hard enough. But it's this really nice uh, deep green color. And I like this, but at the same time, I don't. I like it because you can get him in that really cool pose he's in, in um, like artwork. I don't like it because I kind of rather- this would have been kind of funny but at the same time it wouldn't be realistic if he came with instead his plasma shot. That would be extremely unrealistic because it's a- I'm pretty sure the plasma shot's like the size of X himself so it would have been just this huge charge shot. Or it could have just been the same charge shot that comes in say the first armor X because I heard that's a pretty big charge shot, but again, I don't know because I do not own that figure, and I have no intents of buying it because I don't want to spend $140 on it. But I'm just going to pop that back in. Oh, and be extremely careful because I've heard reports that, um, come on, the little spike things on the crown kind of uh, snap off easily sometimes. Because the thing is, these things do not come on and off. If they fall off, I'm afraid it's well broken which is why I like to be extremely careful when I am uh, replacing his face I, I have ugly long nails so I can just kind of 
open it a little bit and then kind of uh, come on. I don't want to, because like one of my biggest fears is like breaking one of my figures. Oh, come on. There we go. Just kind of pop his face out. When I first got this figure, actually I had a, I had a really hard time getting the face in and out. But it's a bit easier now. We can just pop that face in. Carefully put this on. Do not break it. Oops, let me get that in frame. Don't want to look like a buffoon. And there you go. Now you can have him like raising his X Buster into the air. And I believe that is it. Please focus. Thank you. So overall, this is our really nice figure. Do I recommend it? Yes and no. No, because the price actually is absolutely ridiculous on websites like um like Amazon. He's about $70 there. That's really expensive. I mean, don't get me wrong, this figure is super, super awesome. I mean, it's the ultimate armor. I mean, it's awesome. But, um, I just don't know if that $70 price tag is really worth it unless you can find him for a lot of a cheaper price. But, if you want to, go ahead and buy him. Obviously, I did. But, um, I think that's about it. Yeah, that's it. So, thank you so much for watching. And, uh, follow me on all my social medias down below. My The link to my flavors website is in the description below, which is linked to my, all my social medias. Instagram, Twitter, um, I'm Mr. Noodle Knight on basically everything. Except my Nintendo ID. Just Sir Noodle. Go and add me if you want, I'll always accept it. But anyway, um, so yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for 20 subscribers, I really appreciate it. Hopefully I won't lose them, which is why I need to consistently pump out these figures, these, uh, I guess, reviews decently. But, um, so yeah, uh, comment down below if you want me to do something special, I guess, for 20 subscribers, because I'm actually pretty honored that I've gotten this far. I mean, yeah, it's not a lot, but still 20 subscribers. And that's kind of a lot for me. It must have been from that roll statue review that I, like, the only person who reviewed it, which is why I have, like, 2,000 views or something on my overall view count, which is, which is pretty neat. Give me my $2, YouTube. But, yes. Thank you for watching. Um, follow me on all my social medias again. Uh, comment below if you want me to do something special. I'll do it. Of course, as long as it's reasonable. I don't need to buy anything. Like something, I, I, even if you want me to just show you my collection, and then if you see something there that I haven't reviewed yet, just say, hey, review that, and I certainly will. I just need time. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and toodles.